So we just got out of the film 65 with Adam Driver and uh, Ariana Greenblatt. I think that's a great name. <laughs> I like saying Ariana Greenblatt. I just thought I'd do a quick reaction review, non-spoilers, but one minor spoiler, just the fact that Ariana Greenblatt is an actress that's in the film. Um, so for me to do a review <laughs> on that without doing that spoiler, uh, like there's another character other than Adrian, what's his name? Adam Driver. Adam Driver. I keep wanting to say uh, Adrian Brody. Yeah, Adam Driver. Anyway, this was a film that I knew what it was going to be from, you know, the description. If you've seen the trailer, you know what it is. Don't expect anything else than that. A sci-fi Jurassic Park kind of film <laughs> set 65 million years ago. I would say it doesn't outstay its welcome. It's an hour and a half long and it's actually quite tense for a 12 because you yeah. have the writers from um, A Quiet Place. You have Sam Raimi as a, a producer on this. So you have the creators that know how to do tense and scary. And when it comes to the actual creatures, uh, I would say they did a very good job at making, you know, we've seen Mr. Rex a lot of times now. And Mr. he's, T. yeah, he's more of a friend now to us yeah. than is scary. Mm -hmm. And they've managed to make Mr. T Rex scary again. In fact, everything on the planet was terrifying, right down from the bugs uh, <laughs> to the insects to the bigger little dinosaurs to everything just seems to want to kill you. This is not a good day, but this story is really basic. It's crash landing on a planet, trying to escape it, um, wreckage from uh, their, whatever they were in, spaceship craft, they have to go to another part of that to try and survive. That is the basic premise. So it's not yeah. really hard to follow. It's the relationship between our two main protagonists that keep the film going on and the situations that they find themselves in. So you do see a little bit of them building their relationship, some, a few levity moments which builds the characters which I really enjoyed. And then it's all about them surviving this planet and how they can survive together you know from one moment that you you kind of breathe a sigh of relief and then they're into another scary moment i thought the effects were excellent um i thought the the creatures looked great i thought yeah. the intensity was there for the most part it did announce stay it's welcome like i mentioned earlier i've seen a lot of people really kind of poo-pooing this film already saying oh it's worse than jurassic park 3 and if that's what you got out of it i'm sorry for you we went in with no expectations and came out thinking that was actually fairly fun. I wouldn't mind watching that again when it comes onto your home video. I think it could be one of those that you cycle from now and again. You know, you, you flip through those certain films that every now and again you don't want to be looking through the thousands of films on your Netflix account and you need one that you're just going to go, oh yeah, that's, that's a nice blockbuster popcorn film. That's what this movie is. Yeah. It's not the best movie ever, but it certainly is better than the new trilogy of Jurassic World films we've had because it's brought back the scariness, the intensity of those dinosaurs and then given us a couple of characters that I did end up caring for. I don't think you're going to shed any tears, but you will care because there's enough there for you to care about them. So don't go in expecting that this film will rewrite the genre. It's just done what the genre has done before and done it fairly well, in my opinion. Yeah. Agreed. You, agreed? Cool. What would you give it out of five, Nicolas Cage's? Oof. Okay, this is a tough one because I think three and a half is too low and I think four is too high. Mm. It's kind of in the middle there. Yeah, I was it's, teetering on a four, but it's not. It's not quite it's a not four. It's not a four, but that doesn't mean it's not good because fours are yeah. very good. So I'm going to go three and th 3.75 Nicolas Cage's out of yeah. five. Three and three quarters. <laughs> And you've got one. Congratulations. Yeah, so a really enjoyable blockbuster popcorn film. If you go in expecting more than that, then I don't know what to tell yeah, you. If you go in and expecting the original Jurassic Park, I don't know, it had a lot of fun parts and nods to films like yeah, that. Yeah, I thought it did. Yeah. It did a really good job. Uh, even Aliens, you know, is in there. It's, it's, it's intensity intense moments yeah. were the best bits that worked really well. So you can see the writers from A Quiet Place really kind of showing their creativity there. I didn't want more from this movie. It didn't need to do any more. a bumpy bit of the road. Sorry. Yeah, sorry about the bums. <laughs> oh, oh gosh, okay. Yeah, that's <laughs> where our taxes are going. So let me know your thoughts. What is your favorite Jurassic Park film that it's non-Jurassic Park 
there's been so many versions of different types of monster films. This might be up there for me way back when we had the film called Relic. That was really fun. Uh, Outlander was pretty good. Let me know in the comments below. And when you've seen this, did you enjoy it or did you think it's crap? Thanks so much for watching. But most of all, until next time, remember, live long and Tuesday.